Hi there, Sandy Freshy here back with another quick video. Today uh, we are going to be exploring a different configuration in the human design chart or a rare configuration, at least in my experience. And it's the exact opposite of the reflector chart. And it is a chart of someone who has all of their energy centers defined. So I wanted to talk about this and explore this in the context of the mechanics of the chart and how people like this would uh, show up and uh, maybe be experienced by others. Uh, so before we get started, uh, like this video if you like it. If you want more of my videos, please subscribe or follow depending on where you are on the internet. And if you find this video helpful, please share it with anyone who can benefit. All right, so I only know a few people who have all of their energy centers defined. And this is actually the chart of someone who's been a longtime friend of mine. So I know him fairly well. And uh, it wasn't a surprise to me when I ran his chart that all of his energy centers were defined because the way that I experience him is that he shows up in a very dynamic and stable way. And maybe that's not the case across the board, but the few people that I know who have their, all of their centers defined show up in a dynamic and stable way. I can imagine if a person was living in, in a way where they were significantly out of balance, instead of the stability that I feel from these few people that I know, I, I may feel, or you would feel, uh, a great amount of distortion in the way that their energy feels to you. Like it would just, just maybe be chaotic. It, it maybe would be, um, uh, full of drama. I'm not quite sure with that. And I'd love to know your experience with that as well. Even if it's people that you know, who are, who have a lot of definition, like maybe only one or two energy centers that are undefined. Um, and, and how you experience how they're living that out. Now, part of this stability could be because when all of the centers are defined, of course, the sacral center is defined. So uh, they are generators and manifesting generators, and they do have that consistent uh, life force energy from which they are building and creating uh, their life. And, uh, and it's a very stabilizing force uh, that they're putting out into the world. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here in terms of mechanics with the, uh, the energy centers and uh, the definition, all of these uh, places that are colored in are known as defined on the human design chart. And that means that they, this person has a consistent relationship with the functions of these types of energies in the energy centers and uh, the themes that are uh, hardwired into them through these gates and these channels. Uh, and wherever there is, are the white areas are, are places of openness where um, the, you or the person who, whose chart you're looking at has, uh, has openness to experience the outside world. So in regard to that, um, when there's a lot of definition, there's a lot of energy that goes out into their aura. So that's why I'm saying that, uh, there is this, I feel a dynamic and stabilizing kind of a, of a feel from someone who is all or mostly defined in their energy centers. Uh, this is something that they're going to exude. They're going to exude it consistently and most likely they're going to show up uh, the same way, just about every time that you see them. Um, so also speaking of the, the definition versus the openness in the chart, one of the things that, that I, one of the ways that I interpret this is that there's more output of energy than there is space for input in these white areas, right? So they're, they're affecting others with that output of energy. And, um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, um, for them to take in energy from the outside because, 
uh, there's less of a likelihood that they're going to encounter these uh, people with these gates that they and channels that they have undefined than they would if they had open centers where they would encounter people with open centers. There's just there's just more. There's more going out than there's room to come in. My friend uh, has actually told me that uh, sometimes it takes a while for his energy system or for him, for things to register, I guess. Uh, And that could be because a person with a lot of definition experiences themselves in the world through their own experience. And maybe that's like self-evident. That's evident by looking at the chart, right? This is their experience. They're experiencing the world through their own experience. And they're, and they're also, uh, you know, the clues that they get about the outside mostly have to do with how they're impacting others. Or, um, I think I want to use the word effect others, how they're affecting others, because impact is associated with the manifestor energy type in traditional human design. So, um, how they're affecting others. And, um, it may take them a little while to see that because they're also experiencing themselves in a very, very consistent way. So you kind of get the feel there, more output than room for input. And this is in contrast to someone who is open, who has a lot of openness in their chart where they um, are more likely to experience themselves and the world or reference themselves in the world through uh, what they're experiencing from out there, from other people, from their environment. So I'm hoping you can get the feel for that. Like those of us who are really open, when we encounter someone who is really defined, we can feel that energy. (laughs) We can feel it coming to us as opposed to someone who is really defined may not be sensitive to the fact that they've they've encountered someone who's really open until they see how they've impacted us or or how they've affected us. And then from there, it may even take a little bit of time for them to, to, uh, to get the feel for that or to understand that. So I just wanted to bring this up because it was a point of interest for me. And I thought it would be a great point of um, conversation and exploration to get the general feel for, uh, to talk about the general feel of different people's charts to us. So I'd love to know, do you know anyone who has all of their energy centers defined? And if so, how do you experience them? I'd also love to know whether or not you have a lot of open energy centers Um, or more defined energy centers than open energy centers and how that affects how you feel people who are more defined. I hope that's not too confusing. Just start with the first question. If it is, uh, do you know anyone who is uh, defined in all or most of their centers and how do you experience them? Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you so much. And until the next time, be well.